There is some excitement and anxiety in the Reynolds family as Suzanne and Henry travel to Shelbyville, Tennessee to participate at a Tennessee Walking Horse Industry major event. The 53rd Annual National Trainers Show is being held there from March 18th to the 20th. For the first time in many years, Suzanne, along with her good friend and trainer, Debbie Simpson, will be participating. Suzanne entered into a partnership with Debbie, who is an avid riding instructor and trainer. In early February, they acquired an amazing three-year-old stallion, Whistlin' Dixie. For both Henry and Suzanne, they have been down this road before. Henry and Suzanne had owned several Tennessee walkers over the years. Suzanne's passion grew and grew. Debbie coached Suzanne on improving her riding skills, she suddenly found herself competing against her peers. As their family grew, the time Suzanne was able to spend with her passion diminished. So, it's been 15 long years now. The National Trainers Show is her first event since then. Henry eventually made it through the Atlanta traffic and managed to get to Shelbyville before nightfall. Shelbyville is in Bedford County, Tennessee. It has a population of 20,335 residents. This town is a hub of the Tennessee walking horse industry and has been nicknamed the walking horse capital of the world. While Henry was setting up the business side of the coach, Suzanne wanted to rekindle her special relationship with Whistling Dixie since five weeks had passed. It's the day before the opening of the show, Debbie and Suzanne wanted to make sure, Whistlin' Dixie, would be in prime form and ready for the national event. Later that day, some of the events got shuffled. And the show organizers, after seeing Whistlin' Dixie working out, wanted Suzanne to participate in the pro -Am competition. This was something Suzanne did not prepare for. Both Debbie and Henry convinced her to go for it that evening over dinner. Since Suzanne didn't bring her riding attire, a quick trip to the local fashion shop was in order the following day. The trainer's show opened on Thursday evening, with the national anthem sung by Suzanne. And now to honor America, please join in the singing of our national anthem.
get a whipping. While at the show, there were a few very important folks that Suzanne and Debbie wanted to meet. Brad Beard and Blaze Brockhart. Both Brad and Blaze were extremely instrumental as trainers in making Dixie the horse he has become today. Their passion for this amazing horse was still very much alive. While Whistlin' Dixie did not participate in any show events on Saturday evening, the Whistlin' Dixie team was awarded with another prize. The Tennessee Walking Horse Breeders and Exhibitors Association and Dean Byard presenting them with box seats for the Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. It takes place each year during the 11 days prior to Labor Day. It is very well attended and is the largest show in the country for the Tennessee Walking Horse Association. The 2021 National Trainers Show continued to be full of special moments to the Whistlin' Dixie team. With her return to the sport, Suzanne felt honored to be featured in an article by Scoop Media. Amongst the amateurs that were competing, Whistlin' Dixie was one of the favorites and the fans grew by the day. For Suzanne and Henry, many old friendships were rekindled at this show. Their journey now is making many new friends as they campaign Whistle and Dixie in the coming years. Suzanne felt that the love and support friends and fans gave them at the show was comforting and priceless. This made the whole experience very special, a memory they will relive over and over. He Simpson and Reynolds families want to express their sincere thanks for making this a week they will never soon forget. As they were departing Shelbyville, Debbie and Suzanne were already planning what shows to attend in the coming months. While they fell in love with Whistlin' Dixie the first time they saw him, they now know many fans also share the same passion. We hope you enjoyed the beginning of this journey with Whistlin' Dixie. If you want to explore new adventures with the team, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any new episodes. And thanks for watching.